Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and today I'm going to be taking a very quick look at the Air Instrument Expansion Pack. But first, I want to thank our friends over at Plugin Boutique for sorting me out a copy for this video. If you don't know who Plugin Boutique are, then it's well worth checking out their website as they have a great catalogue of plugins at some great prices. So what do you get in the Air Instrument Expansion Pack? Well, there's seven instruments. The first four are Velvet. This features five electric piano sounds, lots of built-in effects like reverb, delay, tremolo, all the things you kind of expect from an electric piano VI. And it sounds like this. We've got Strike 2 that includes 19 sampled drum kits that are interchangeable so you can switch over the snares and the kicks and all that stuff. You can use the built-in loops and grooves. We've got effects, we've got a mixer, we can output all of these to separate aux tracks, all that jazz, the stuff that we're used to with drum VIs. And it sounds like this. We got Structure 2, which is a sample player slash instrument. You can either load samples from the bundled 37 gig library or create and edit your own multi layered patches and instruments. And in this instance, I've just got a church organ playing. Next, we've got Transfuser 2, which is a great tool for mashing up samples and loops in weird and wonderful ways. This comes bundled with loads and loads of loops and that, but you can use your own. Here I've got just a clap. And at the bottom right here, you can see how I've got these sort of set up. I've got pan left and right for each hit. And velocity, it's a little bit harder along the way. Lots and lots of things to do with this. It's, it's very out there. Um, you, you've got to be using sort of loops and all that sort of stuff quite a lot in your workflow to get a lot out of this plugin. So those are what I would call the four instruments of the Air Instrument Expansion Pack. The next three are synthesizers, and starting with Hybrid 3, which is a kind of a, an old meets new style synth. And I used to use Hybrid 1 quite a lot once upon a time. Uh, and what I like about it... So we've got this sequencer. A little bit like Transfuser there. We've also got... Lots of built-in effects, so this particular patch I went for something that sounded a little bit guitar-y, so I put a wire on it, which was nice. The next synth we've got is Loom, and this is an additive synth. And what I've noticed with this synth is that it just sounds absolutely insane all of the time. There is a load of presets, and it's worth actually mentioning that all of these presets in all of these synths, uh, you can just lose hours in them, just playing around, trying to find the right sounds for your music. And the last synth is Vacuum Pro. And again, I've used Vacuum, the first version, the lighter version. And I love this because it's just dirty bass lines all of the way. I mean, it's just fat bass lines all of the time, and I love that. It really works on uh, some really retro-style music. So I've actually put together a little production here, nothing crazy, just something that sort of showcases these seven instruments well. So let's just play it from the top so you can kind of hear what's going on. So that's Velvet on the keys. Vacuum the bass. Loom. Structure. Transfuser with the claps. So what are my final thoughts on the Air Instrument Expansion Pack? The first thing I want to say is that it's a very, very large download and it, you have to set aside a good half a day, I reckon, to get it all downloaded and installed properly. But that aside, there's a lot in this bundle. As I said earlier, 
the presets in these are absolute quality. You could just lose days and days and days going through, having lots of fun, finding sounds that can get your creative juices going. And I love that about these sort of VIs. You don't have to think too hard about them. You just load a preset up, use your keyboard, use your ear, and off you go. Everything you see here is VST, AU, and AAX compatible. So I may be in Pro Tools here, but you can use these in Logic, Ableton, Studio One, whatever takes your fancy. Anyway, hope you guys got something from that. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.